<laughs> well, here it is. Got it all ready to go. Let's see if it starts. Got all these batteries hooked up. Just to recap from the last video, got all these batteries hooked up. Got three batteries, two chargers, jumper pack. And I went through, just got a couple buckets of fuel here. One for the suction, one for the return. Got everything all freed up. Engine shut down. Oh yeah, and then I took all these lines off here and put fuel down in them with a with this thing right here. That way nothing's starting dry because this thing's been sitting for a while. So got everything all primed with fuel. Unfortunately, I had to bypass that hand primer pump because that got busted. But just for a startup, we'll be all right. This ring here broke for the turbo, so I just got it vice gripped for now. All right, let's see what she does. Alright, that was pretty cool. Thing runs really good. It sounds really, really strong. I don't hear any knocking or anything crazy. Holds good oil pressure. Had about 50 pounds, 50, 60 pounds of pressure it looked like uh, out of my crappy gauge there. And I don't want to run it too long with no water. I only ran it, you know, just what you've seen in the video. So, well, the next step is I want to, here, I'll take a walk around. Next step is to pull all these hoses, this lower radiator hose, heater hose, the, this goes up to the radiator, probably like a bypass thing. Leave this one open, plug that. I got some antifreeze lines on the air compressor, plug them off, or just get another hose made. See this one here that broke off, I was saying in the last video, this went right there. And then there was a one of those antifreeze filters with the glycol in it. But I'm going to bypass that on this motor because I'm going to run the Red Cat antifreeze anyway. So I don't think I need that. <clears throat> so I'm going to just take this right off and just run it right from there to there eventually. Other than that, all the hoses should be fine for now just for a test. 
My worry with these is it's been sitting for 10 years, so liner O-rings could be dry cracked and leak into the base. Hopefully not, crossing my fingers. Seals in the water pump can be bad. Oil cooler could be messed up. So it's just a big guessing game, really. But it is what it is. I mean, it, this thing literally started right up. All right, a few hours later, what I did is I got a bunch of caps, block that off, block that off, block them off, block the lower off, which it still leaks just a little bit, but this is just a test to make sure the water pump or nothing major leaks or anything on it. Just got everything all blocked off, and then I tapped into this port here with my pressure tester and I filled the block completely up right to the top of the water completely full of water so let's pump it up and wait a while and see what happens I got it right at 10 pounds, a little more than 10 pounds. So I'm going to wait like 10 minutes and see what it looks like. And about 10 minutes later and let's check it again. And I got just under 10 pounds now. So I already know what's causing that. Like I said, this, this down here leaks a little bit. This cap I put on, this is all messed up down here because I... Didn't really have the right size, so I had to use an old piece of hose and wrap it around there. I don't want to tighten this anymore because it'll probably break. So I'm sure that's where my one pound I lost is going. But I don't see anything else leaking out of anything, so I think we're in good shape. Now I feel confident that I can put this in the truck and run it and not have any major problems right away. All right, you know what, for the heck of it, let's start it up one more time just because it sounds cool before we put it in the truck because this is probably the last time it's going to run before it's in the truck. I just love the sound of these things. I could listen to it all day. I'd rather have this in here than a radio. So, yeah, it's pretty cool.
let's hear the old Detroit start one last time before it gets yanked. skip in it. How bad this thing shakes. It's a shame, but... All that raw fuel getting dumped out of the exhaust from that cylinder that's not firing. does sound cool though, I am going to miss it in a way. I am going to miss it. Well, since this is the last time we'll hear it run, I'll just leave you here for a few minutes and you can either listen to it run or you can fast forward to the next part.
like that skip's getting worse as time goes on. I ain't got nothing to lose now if I blow it up, so let's raise some hell with it. sound good though I will say that she's gonna sit for the duration of the job got it on the levelest part of the driveway here I can get on both sides of it I can get in front of it so about as good as it's gonna get I can cage the brakes and move it around with the skid steer if I want but good enough all right this turbo sounds freaking sweet with no air cleaner on it when I rev it up so we're gonna get a couple good shots of that one last time. Ripping it apart. 